Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick and apparently some people believe in talking donkeys? We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Hey wife, did you know that Anchor is sponsoring our show? Really? Don't we use Anchor to distribute our podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts? Yeah, and we are on just about every other platform available as well, thanks to them. Why do we use Anchor as our podcasting service? Well, they make editing and distributing our show a breeze. What if one of our listeners wants to start their own podcast? Then they should head over to anchor.fm or download the app to get started. Awesome! You guys should go do that right now! Husband! Wife! Do you remember what happened yesterday? Uh, David was pacing around on his fucking roof and looking at naked chicks in bathtubs and... Yeah, that sounds about right. And we don't know if he had a battleman or not, and so... Right. But the question is... Was it going to be murder by somebody else or suicide because he built the place? Mm, I wonder. If he fell, you mean. Right. Yeah. Right. So I don't know. it could could go either way. Definitely not the point of the story, but definitely worth asking. Right. Yeah. So the point of the story was that he's a rapey fuck and then um, didn't want to be held accountable to anybody when he got the chick knocked up. Right. So he tried to sneak in and get that guy to go home and sleep with his wife so that Real he quick. didn't have to like fuck with it. And then he got him fucking killed. Yeah, because he's a piece of shit. And then the last thing I knew is that God's pissed at him, but I don't know if God's actually going to do anything about it, which will kind of piss me off if he doesn't. Uh, You know what? I don't even care because the whole thing is disgusting. I know, but... God is neither here nor there to me, but this guy, like, I already didn't like him, and now I'm like, and there it is. I'm just saying. And there it is. I'm just saying. If he doesn't do anything, it's bullshit. It is bullshit. So... All right, so that was 2 Samuel chapter... 11. 11. And today we are doing 2 Samuel chapter... 12. All right, let's go do this stuff. Let's. Okay, 2 Samuel chapter 12. All right. Nathan reproves David. Remember who Nathan is? Uh, Nathan was the prophet, right? Yep, yep. Okay. He's going to go off on David, apparently. What, he was going to reprove? Reprove, that means um, admonish. Ah. Yeah, he's going to go off on So God laid his uh, punishment deal onto Nathan. Nathan's like, I God's like, Nathan, go go yell at him some. I have no idea. I'm okay. just, based on the headline alone, all I know is at the very least, Nathan is not pleased. Well, I'm sorry, but if this is all he gets yelled at by Nathan, then that's still not enough. That's still not enough because so. he nasty. Right. Okay, so the Lord sent Nathan the prophet to tell David this story. Fuck the Lord. Well, and we don't know okay. what's going to happen. It better be one hell of a fucking story. <laughs> it better be one hell of a fucking story. <laughs> there were two men in a certain town. In a certain town. The story went. Okay, yeah. One was rich and one was poor. Okay. The rich man owned a great many sheep and cattle. Yeah, as rich people do. Right, right. In those days. All the rich people I know own lots of sheep and cattle. Right. They can also probably afford the battlement. So, probably. You know, I'm just saying. Probably. The poor people, they're like, don't go on the fucking roof, assholes. I know, right? So. The poor man owned nothing but one little lamb he had bought. Oh. He's probably lucky to have that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So this um, little boy that I babysit, um, when you ask him what does a sheep say, he always goes, ba a a because he can't say bah. Right. So right. that's cute. Okay, sorry. He raised that little lamb, the poor guy did. Yeah. And it grew up with his children. It ate from the man's own plate and drank from his cup. Mm. I mean, I love my cat, but I get pissed when she tries to drink from my <laughs> right. cup or eat off my plate. I mean, to be fair, they didn't have fucking lamb food back then. That is true. That, was that is true. just food, you know. But I mean, you could give it its own separate cup. True, true. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying. He cuddled it in his arms like a baby daughter. I, I do snuggle my cat. I like the poor I can't cat. imagine snuggling a lamb, though. It's a little they lamb. Pre- they, they get bigger. It's a baby lamb. It was. He is snuggling his baby lamb, and you shut up. Okay. One day, a guest arrived at the home of the rich man. Yeah. But instead of killing an animal from his own flock or herd, 
He took the poor man's lamb. Wait, 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 wait. How is he able to... Why... What? How is he able to take the poor man's stuff? You're rich. You can do anything. The fuck rich people. If you're famous, they let you. You can grab them by the pussy. Didn't you know? <laughs> <laughs> he took the poor man's lamb and killed it and prepared it for his guest. Okay? So oh, okay. This is an analogy. It's a story. Okay. David was furious. As surely as the Lord lives, he vowed, any man who would do such a thing deserves to die. You don't see the he fucking analogy here? He not see the analogy. What a dumbass. What a bunch of unself-aware right? nonsense. Yeah. Like, come on, this is this is this kindergarten is bullshit. Easy. A prophet comes to you and tells you a story. Like, I'm a prophet. I'm going to tell you a story. Aren't you immediately going to go, oh, shit, and I'm... look for, like, what what is this about me? I'm just imagining, like, David sitting in a fucking chair for story time. Mm -hmm. Like, in the prophet Nathan sitting there going, and now... <laughs> <laughs> so let me give you an example right. of shitty behavior. Right, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, David goes on, he must repay four lambs to the poor man yeah. for the one he stole and for having no pity. Yeah, what a bunch of shit. Right? Yeah. Yeah, David. you're right, David. You fucking idiot. Mm-hmm. Then Nathan said to David, you are that man. Oh, I'm so shocked. The Lord, the God of Israel says, I anointed you king of Israel and saved you from the power of Saul. I gave you your master's house and his wives mm -hmm. and the kingdoms of Israel and Judah. Yeah. I need to take a pause right there and interrupt because it says he gave him Saul's wives. And remember, there was a question about... Um, somebody's wife, and if he married somebody of the same name, was that David? Do I that? don't really remember what you're talking about, to okay. be perfectly honest well, with you. There was a story. Actually, I don't think it was David, but there was a question about one of his wives being the same name as, um, like, did he marry his, his stepmom, or did he marry... Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Remember, was that David? Kind of. I, I don't remember. Well, he's saying that he gave Saul, or he gave David Saul's wives. Got it. So Got it. I'm going to assume, yeah, he married... I just, I want to know the count on his wives at this point. So do I, Because it so sounds like I. a fucking crap ton. It's a fuck fest over there. Right? Yeah. And he still needed that beautiful woman in the bath over yonder. Right, yeah. And if that had not been enough, Nathan said, I would have given you much, much more. He's like... Look at all the fields of pussy before you. <laughs> if it wasn't enough, I'd have given you even more pussy. Right, But yeah. no, no, that wasn't the way you went with that, no. friend. No, yeah. Why then, continued Nathan, have you despised the word of the Lord and done this horrible deed? Yeah, why, David? Why, David, you what the fucking fuck, man? asshole? But let me ask you a question. Let's okay. be honest here. Sure. Besides being an asshole, why shouldn't he have done this? Whatever lesson was there to teach him not to be an asshole? Well, hypothetically, he was in God's good grace and he knows mm -hmm. God's laws. And mm -hmm. if he knows God's laws and abides by them because he is God's, you know, wonderful little right. guy there. Right. Then he should know because of that at the very least. Hypothetically, but that's not in practice. Right? Yeah, he's read the words, and he's been told the words. Right. But in practice, has dude ever been told or ever been taught personally, on a personal level, that you shouldn't misbehave because it's horrible? Well, one would think that maybe he had, because he kind of, I mean, one of the stories said he came from next to nothing, right? He was mm -hmm. just a, a herder type person. Right. And, um... And then, you know, he worked for Saul for a while and got spears thrown at his ass. And, you know, I mean, he, you would think he would have some humbleness about him. But you know what? It's almost like there's two different Davids. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm feeling like there's two different stories here that got combined. And that one of... Because remember, early on it was, wait, David's been kinged several times yeah, now. Yeah, right. Because it was two separate stories, but right? But de definitely the David now is not humble. And he's a right. fucking, like... He just gets whatever he gets. He yeah. gets whatever he wants. Yeah. And he's like, that's mine. That's mine. That's mine. I'm going to conquer that. Mine. I'm taking mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. I'm going like, to marry all the ladies. He's very um, entitled now. Right. In my opinion. I feel like he's probably always been entitled. This David. Right, right. I, I don't know about the other David who came from humble beginnings. Right. And um, was 
you know, Saul, I'm not going to kill you twice. See yeah. how I didn't kill you twice? I wonder how many stories are combined about David. Like, cause mm-hmm. they're, I mean, we know that there are stories that are definitely combined. Yeah. But, like, I wonder how many actual stories were combined to create the David that we know in the Bible right now. Right. I mean, he did or didn't kill Goliath. Right, you know? right, yeah. So... I just we're going to go with that, didn't because that's the right. prevailing thought on that's that one. That's scol- so. scholarly analysis, Because not there's by another us. person named later in the Bible that mm-hmm. did hypothetically yeah. kill the Goliath person. Of, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I'm totally on board with that theory. Yeah. But guess who gets credit for it, right? Of course, yeah. So I'm thinking that our David has never learned any lessons ever. We'll go with that because okay. it sounds like, I mean, based on his actions... Yeah. He's a rapey son of a bitch. Right, right. For you, continued Nathan, the prophet, to yeah. David, yeah. you have murdered Uriah the Hittite with the sword of the Ammonites and stolen his fucking wife. Yeah. From this time on, your family will live by the sword because you have despised me. I guess he's like saying he's speaking for God. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. By taking Uriah's wife to be your own. This is what the Lord says. Because of what you have done, I will cause your own household to rebel against you. Huh. Didn't he just, like, grant him, like, eternal, like, wonderfulness? Like, <laughs> yeah. a chapter or two ago? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I guess David's hair ain't so bright now, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I will give your wives, wives, plural, yeah. to another man before your very eyes. Ooh, man. And he will go to bed with them in public view. <laughs> I mean, shit. was that a thing that happened back then? I'm gonna guess not. I mean, they bathed in public apparently, because or at least public enough that David could see them. Well, here's the thing, though. Um, we know that like the Greeks used to have public bathing houses, right? And this was before that time, so sure. they could have yeah bathed publicly, right? But also, I lived in Italy for a while. And um, they also have these outdoor showers, and it was quite common to use them outdoor because Hmm. um, where I lived was along the Mediterranean. Yeah. Um, And so you always had sand in your cracks. (laughs) And so it was just a thing. Right. And also, they did not view nudity the same way we did. Got it. Although, these are supposed to be um, God-fearing people who were very yucky, yucky, nudity's gross. We don't do that. Because right. remember, they were embarrassed about yeah. um, having their skirts cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To show sure. their circumcised wee-wees. Right. But the and same guy that was embarrassed for his people that had that happen to them, mm-hmm. he's not embarrassed to go look at naked women. So, right. But I women, mean, it's kind of a mixed bag there as well, far as... Well, I also wonder if nude women bathing in public is different from just women walking around. Okay. You know what I mean? And I'm also wondering, don't women have different standards than men because men are awesome and women oh, are yeah, just pieces sure. of shit? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, women are basically property, so I mean... I'm just saying, like, these are all questions that I would have as to him viewing her from his roof. Like, I don't think that maybe that was weird. Right. It, it wasn't the voyeurism maybe that we think it was. Like, I don't think maybe that was the bad part. Okay. It was the coveting and then the stealing and raping and then the sneaking and then the conniving um, and then the getting the husband killed when he couldn't pass the baby off as the husband's. But it's interesting to me that people of today's day and time, right? Time, mm-hmm. whatever. Um, they, they take things from the Bible and they pick and choose what they want to attribute as social mores for today right. Right. versus the Bible actually has different views because well, when this you is say not Bible, something. This is Old Testament. Sure. Okay. Old Testament. And still. that would be their argument. I got it. But they're going to, those same people that are going to argue that are also going to quote the Ten Commandments mm-hmm. every fucking time. Right. And that is part of the Old Testament well, as well. it's my understanding, and we haven't got there yet, but it's my understanding that um, Jesus does hold by the Ten Commandments, so those are not just Old Testament rules, but New Testament rules as well. Okay, well... They, they originated in the Old, but are still New Testament things. Regardless, it's still the same God. No, I, I totally agree. I mean, agree. God, God is still the same entity. No, you're you're changing arguments. This no, is a different you're right, argument. You're right. You're right. You're right. The, the Old Testament God versus the New Testament God. Sure. That's a separate argument that I completely agree with you. Right. On. Right. My question is just about um, 
how weird was it for him to be og- ogling a naked woman in public? Right, right. And, you know, we, we're we not even getting into yet. Hold on, you're going to do what with his wives? And did you clear this by them, God and Nathan? Did y'all talk to the wives? And right. do they want to be given away? Yeah, yeah. Do they have a choice? So, <laughs> so they're going to go from being owned by David to being owned by some other douchebag. Oh, bag. and not only owned by them, but um, and having sex out in public, apparently. Getting fucked right. in public. Yeah. Yeah. Did, so they're getting punished too then, just checking. Right. right? right. Okay. Nice. Nice. Thank you yeah. for that. Anyway, um, so uh, Nathan is still speaking on God's behalf to David. He okay. says, you did it secretly, but I will make this happen to you openly in the sight of all Israel. Oh, wow. That's pretty deep punishment. Yeah. Yeah. To David and his wives. Right. It's a, it's a heavy... You know, that's embarrassing. That is very embarrassing. And, like, you're the king, so... Yeah. Do you, and, and you're... Because God's punishing you, you can't really respond? Yeah. I guess? Yeah. I don't know. You just gotta that's take a, it. That's rough. Like, ouch. Yeah. And how would you like to be the guy that was, like, you know, the one fucking the girls, you know? Like, I, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm no, <laughs> that, that sounded weird. <laughs> how would like, you like to be but the no, guy I'm fucking saying, the But, no, I'm girls. saying with regard to the fact that you have to then maybe still be around King David? Right. Like... like who is this person that has to? What's has the story? To? What's Who's that the guy's person story? That, yeah, right, right, exactly. Like, is he a bad guy? Is he hailed as like a redeemer? Is he like I, you a know? nasty piece of shit? Like, who right? is he? Yeah, Ooh. That, that would be an interesting story. I, I wonder if we're going to find out about him. Right. Curious. Then David confessed to Nathan, "I have sinned against the Lord." No shit. Did you? Yeah. And you got caught, huh? You, you knew you did because you were fucking lying to yeah. Uriah. Yeah. So. And also to uh, what's his butt that was in charge of your armies. Right. And you made him, you were like, uh, send these guys. I don't even care if they all die. Just make sure that Uriah, Uriah is right up there at front and dies. Right. Yeah. And dude was like, okay. And made it happen. Right. Because yeah. what's he going to do? I mean, you know, he, yeah, you got you to gotta please the king, right? Right. So. There's a reason that he, he was in that rank. Yeah. Right. Nathan replied, yes, but the Lord has forgiven you and you won't die for this sin. Oh. Nevertheless, because you have shown utter contempt for the word of the Lord by doing this, your child will die. Oh. What the fuck? Jesus. Doesn't he have more than one child, though? I don't know how many childs but he what, has, yeah, but, but why again, do they like, gotta what die? That, what does that child gotta do with anything? Why, why they gotta die? Oh, probably Bathsheba's child. You think? Yeah. I bet that's what he's talking about. That's fucked up. Right. So not only not only is not only did you rape this woman, right? But now her child gets to die. Her her rape baby and her husband died. We're pro- probably we're not we're, we don't know for sure. They're, no, but I'm betting this is what where, how it's going. Okay. First you raped her, then you got her knocked up, then you killed her husband, and now because of you and your rape and your husband murdering ways, now her rape baby has to die too. Right. Thank you, David. That's yeah. great. Thanks, God. Oh, You're awesome. Not only that, but then she gets to go rape by she gets to go get raped by somebody else. By a different else. guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, right. because Publicly. she's one of the wives. Publicly. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, God. You're doing a bang up job. <laughs> right. After Nathan returned to his home, Nathan the the prophet. prophet yeah. The Lord sent a deadly illness to the child of David and Uriah's wife. Oh, oh, God is still referring to him as Uriah's wife. Wow. To Bathsheba. But as you were Uriah's right. Wife. It is that yeah. child. That makes sense. I mean, yeah. insofar as the Bible I mean, sucks, right. that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. yeah, God can eat a dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. David begged God to spare the child. He went without food and lay all night on the bare ground. The elders of the household pleaded with him to get up and eat with them, but he refused. Then on the seventh day, the child died. Mm. Fuck you, God. Yeah, right. That's not cool, man. That's not. That's it's not. unacceptable. There's no way this story makes any good sense, and no. I hate it. No, Because you know what? Fucking make David suffer. Well, apparently, David is suffering by having his child die. but I not guess. But not dying himself. I guess. I guess. David's advisors were afraid to tell him. Yeah, I'd be scared to tell him, too. Tell him his child died? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He wouldn't listen to reason while the child was ill, they said. What drastic thing will he do when we tell him the child is dead? It worries me that they're worried about (laughs) him being irrational. Mm -hmm. Because he already seems irrational in general. To us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But it's never been pointed out in words that he is irrational. It's just something that we picked up. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. 
You know, I, I have to point this out. Mm-hmm. We didn't like David way earlier than this. Right. And it's just now that God's catching on that he's kind of a, you know, douchebag. Right. So, like... It sounds almost like God is a bad judge of character. Right? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. When David saw them whispering, he realized what had happened. Is the child dead? He asked. Yes. They replied, <laughs> he is dead. Right. Mm. Then David got up from the ground, washed himself, put on lotions, and changed his clothes. He went to the tabernacle and worshipped the Lord. Hmm. Because that's what I do when tragedy strikes. I I mean... I don't rail against God. I you go, go and worship say, him. Mo, well, you're still awesome. Yeah. Please don't do you, worse. You did that shitty thing that you said you were going to do, and so I guess I... I, I owe and, you steak. praise you. I owe you a steak and the some fuck? incense. I, I, I'd be pissed. Yeah. I'm sorry. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you for doing that to a child. All the way to Mars and back. Right? Not only that, but to the wife of somebody that I fucked over. Yeah. Because... I, I, I mean, I'm... You know... I don't care that you did this to David. Fuck David. His feelings don't matter to right, me. Right, right. Fuck you for what you did to Bathsheba. Right. This is it's not okay. Shit. After that... You know what? Those people were right. This is yeah. fucking bullshit. This is bullshit. Yeah. What people... The people the that people told, told me that Bathsheba... Just like, Just wait. wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who knew? Like, right? I knew the name, but I didn't know. I didn't know either. She's my new... Um, like, I need... I need a shirt that says something like Justice for Bathsheba yeah, or something. Yeah, there you go. There you go. After that, David returned to the palace and was served food and ate. His advisors were amazed. We don't understand you, they told him. Yeah. While the child was still living, you wept and refused to eat. But now that the child is dead, you have stopped your mourning and are eating again. Yeah, I don't really... I mean, what? We're about to find out. I don't know. Yeah, okay. David replied, I fasted and wept while the child was alive. For I said, perhaps the Lord will be gracious to me and let the child live. Nope. That was a bad move. Right. But or, why should I fast when he is dead? Can right. Can I bring him back again? I will go to him one day, but he cannot return to me. So he's like, well, I tried. Whatevs. Right. <laughs> that sucked. But anyways, next. Yeah. Yeah. I'm over it. Yeah. I've got five million wives. Yeah. At least for now. Right. Maybe. Then David comforted Bathsheba, his wife, and slept with her. <laughs> that always comforts me when I am in trauma and mourning. I thought I thought part of this was God was going to take his wives from him, though. Oh, uh, that so may not, happen. So not yet, huh? That may happen yet. I'm, I'm sure it will. Okay. She became pregnant and gave birth to a son. And oh, David okay. named him Solomon. Oh, Solomon's oh. going to be a king. Yeah. Because King Solomon, that's a thing. Interesting. Yeah, that's going to okay. be a thing. I bet that's what the next couple books are about. But what happened? I, okay, I'm... I just, I want, We're not why? there yet. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. All right. All right. Whatever. The Lord loved the child and sent word through Nathan the prophet that they should name him Jedediah, which means beloved of the Lord, as okay. the Lord had commanded. But I already, you named uh, him already, I already named him, though. Yeah. He's Solomon. But not anymore. Maybe. Right away. But God liked it. God loved to change people's names. Yeah. Remember? I, I mean, like, we went through this early on in the Bible. God's like, no, you're Ab- something else. Abram's not good enough. you got to no, be Abraham. Abraham. Right. Yeah. I don't get it. Like, change your name. How about you change your name, sir? Right. right. <laughs> you, sir. And Joseph became Israel, wasn't that? Is that right? Yeah. No. I mean. Sort of-ish. Yeah, but that's like the kingdom thereof. Okay. So whatever. I don't know that that was like a complete name But there was change. more than that too. I can't remember yeah. the, all of them, but yeah. And, and there's more coming. Like I know in the New Testament, Peter becomes Simon or some shit like that. And mm. I don't know. Okay. Like Peter who was Simon. Got it. And then there's some other name changes that are going to come up. Okay. So that's the end of that section. So the next section is David captures Rabbah. Okay. So we're back to war. Of course. But no wives got fucked publicly. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Maybe okay. instead of the wife fucking, maybe it was, well, I'll kill the baby instead. I, that's not what was said. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I'm okay. just putting it out there. Sure. I can only guess. I haven't yeah. read it yet. All right. Okay. I'm just a little distraught over the whole thing. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, Joab was fighting against Rabba, the capital of Amman, and he captured the royal fortifications. Oh, good job, Joab. I, I, I guess. commend you on your um, fortification you capturing skills. Good. You killed you, you good killer guy, raider yeah, man. Yeah, right. 
Oh, I lost my place. Damn you it. always. <laughs> <laughs> I scrolled. My thumb hit the thing and it scrolled. Right. And somebody out there is enjoying that. Yeah. So I never want to hear it from you again. I. Well, what? I mean, maybe they enjoy me bitching about it too. That is. You never true. know. That, that could is be part true. of the enjoyment. They didn't say that, but you are right. That yeah. could be part. It's of always it. been there, so maybe that's part of it. You know. Thank you for jibba jabbing. Yeah. I, I found my place. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Joab. Joab. Sent messengers to tell David, Hey, I fought against Rabba and captured its water supply. Now, bring the rest of the army and capture the city. Okay? Okay. Otherwise, I will capture it and get credit for the victory. Okay. I mean... Hurry that, up and come on down. Does that really matter? Yeah. Why? Because we want David to get credit because David is fucking awesome, right? He's the best. I guess. If he's not there, he can't say he did it. But like, so if Get your ass on if, down here if you want credit. Okay, all right. We can't say I did this on your behalf because then it still looks like I did it. And, you know, David kills his tens of thousands. Right, right, that's true. The song won't be true and let you get your ass over here now. Right, right. Right? Okay. So David gathered the rest of the army and went to Rabbah and he fought against it and captured it. Of course I mean, he did. did he fight against it and capture it or hadn't? Joab already just now done that. Right. He, he cleared the way for it. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. David removed the crown from the king's head, and it was placed on his own head, because that's how capturing goes. Yeah. The crown was made of gold and set with gems, and it weighed 75 pounds. Jesus Christ, that is a fucking heavy-ass crown. I'm trying to put that shit on my head. The fuck? Are you trying to wear a 75-pound crown? Is, the, is there any practicality to that at all? It's big and shiny. That's and just... It makes, your, it makes your gaudy. wiener look bigger. No. It, incorrect. That's what... You know what? It's just like the guys with the fucking big-ass trucks and the truck nuts <laughs> and the fucking Corvettes. It's just and, overcompensation and is what it is. And the ladies in Baptist churches with their tall hair and their Mary Kay makeup. Also overcompensation. Mm-hmm. Because guess what? Y'all still ugly. <laughs> oh, I said it. It's true, though. And they all sing really high. Why do they do that? I don't know. Why? I, I all never of asked them. One hundred percent. They all they spray their hair up high, like maybe the they're next fucking eighties ass bitches. Baptist they wear, that you meet, you should ask them. They it's they don't just wear Mary Kay. They have Mary Kay parties and they sell Mary Kay. Right. And they just they talk so much about Miss Mary Kay. Right. Right. M- Miss Mary Kay has died several times now. You guys. <laughs> I've heard the story at least three times. Right. And it was separate years each time. Mm. Miss Mary, and it's always Miss Mary Kay. Mm. And they say it with great breathy voices. Miss Mary Kay. Right. She must have been a real pink Cadillac driving Baptist. Yeah, yeah. She was a true Christian. Right. That makeup selling bitch. (laughs) David took a vast amount of plunder from that city. Because plunder is also very godly. Yeah, we got we got away from the whole burning the whole place down thing. Now we just steal. Now shit. we just yeah. So. Raid. We raid and loot. Yeah, yeah. He's not saying that he he's taking all the women and make, getting more wives and right. You doing know, a I have to say, at least party. when they were burning the city down, mm-hmm. there was some like consistency to why they were doing the things they were doing. They didn't... These people were wrong and bad, and, and they, they conquered them because... In their eyes. In, in their eyes. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, sure. sure. But they were wrong and bad, and they just demolished them entirely. But now they're just conquering people to win mm-hmm. and take. And take. And and conquer. Yeah. And, and subjugate. For the Lord. Right. For the Lord, it's all for God. Glory to God. But the whole, the whole Glory premise, to God. the whole reasons that they are they are fighting in the first place have completely changed from mm-hmm. earlier on in the the fighting of the Israelites. Yeah, and it, it doesn't sit right with me exactly there because it's not. It wasn't. It didn't sit right in the first place. But right. we were like, but these are Bible days. But if it had stayed know. consistent, it would have sounded it. it Consistency matters. It really does. And there's not consistency here. Mm-mm. So. These people suck. Yeah. They just suck. Right. They're greedy, rapey sons of bitches. Com- and as normal, I still feel sorry for the women. Right. Even the ones who get one over on the men but are bad themselves, I really still have sympathy for them because they didn't have a lot of fucking options. Right, right. Here we go. David also made slaves of the people of Rabba. Because, of course, he did. Yeah. Because we love to own other people. Right. Slavery is awesome, you guys. You know, there's a lot of people that say that there's not actual slavery in the Bible. 
Well, that word said slave. It did, did it say slave? Now, this could just be a mistranslation. I, I guess that could be. But then they also distinguish in this book servants mm-hmm. and, and indentured servants. But mm-hmm. there's slaves there. There are slaves. And, and that's not the only place that they say that. But also... They, they made them live under them and serve them. That's I have a, to that's say a this fucking too. slave. Indentured servants are essentially slaves too. Mm-hmm. Sorry. They are. Sorry, not sorry. Are you allowed to come and go as you please? Hell then no. you're a fucking slave. Right. Exactly. You're a slave. Yeah. And and I'm sorry for you, and I hate that for you, because guess what? Slavery is wrong and bad. Right. Like, why does this have to be explained to fucking people? I don't know. Why, why are there people? My own mom said to me, a lot of those slaves were out there singing in the fields, and mm. they were glad of where they were because their lives were bad. I'm like, oh my God. shut the fuck up. The quality of their life before mm. and after is fucking irrelevant. I don't care if they went from living in a goddamn hole filled with poop to living in a golden mansion. Were they allowed to come and go as they please? No. Therefore, they were slaves. The, and I don't care if they made the best of their situation by singing. I, slavery is bad and wrong. I know your mom, and I know that the justifications were made because slavery is mentioned in the Bible. Mm-hmm. And you cannot have a bad God in their eyes. Mm-hmm. And that's why. And I think there's a lot of people that justify slavery through the Bible because and try you to can't, make it seem like we weren't capturing them and forcing them to live under us. Right. We were bettering them. Yeah. That's why we didn't let them learn to read and write because we right. didn't want them to learn that we were actually owning them. Right. And we were just whipping the evil out of them. Mm, like that's Yeah, you know, yeah, because we like to own people. Right. Yeah. And then we like to sleep good at night, so we say it's for their own good. Right, right. Fuck that all the way to Mars and back. Yeah. Slavery bad, period the end. Period the end. I don't care what the house looked like and I don't care what <laughs> right? the song they were singing. Yeah. Okay? Yep. Labor labory. Labory. <laughs> Labia good. <laughs> Slavery bad. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I didn't mean to say labia, but, uh, you know, it you just, can't you take know, it back. Right, exactly. Once it's out, it's out. Once, yeah. I mean, put your labia back in your pants, ladies, but, <laughs> you know, whatever. Okay, so he also made slaves of the people of Rabbah and forced them to labor with saws, iron picks, and iron axes, and to work in the brick kilns. Sounds like a blast. Sounds like they were probably so thrilled to be there. Mm-hmm. I bet they sang lots of songs. Yeah, probably. While they were working. Yeah. For somebody else. That is how he dealt with the people of all the Ammonite towns. Then David and all the army returned to Jerusalem. The end. Okay. They got lots of slaves and, and did a Yay. lot of bad things. And, Yay. And, yeah. This book sucks. God sucks. David sucks. Agreed. Rape sucks. Slavery sucks. Yeah. Yeah, no, this, this, uh, this is a, yeah, it was shit. It was, was shit. This was a shit chapter. This chapter. Shep- chapter? A shappy chapter was a cha- of yeah. shit. All right, well, that was the end of that shit chapter. It was. And that was uh, 2 Samuel chapter 12. And tomorrow we will be here to see more shittiness in 2 Samuel chapter 13. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey, wife, I guess that's the end. But husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh my God. Stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. Oh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. 
Like and subscribe. Leave an Apple review. Join us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye.